Hello everybody, this is Straining Emmy here for the finale of my tournament. It is finally time to do the final from 48 combatants, we're down to two. But first things first, we gotta do the bronze medal match. And that will be contested between Marn and Dino Hunter. And then we'll get on with the big finale. So yeah, without further ado, let's go on with the bronze medal match. Well, this could be this could this also, this could be a good match. Ooh, Alpha Arena, okay. Right, in the red corner for Marn, we got a T-Rex. Marn missing out on the final. Losing to Master Shin in the semis. Looking to finish their tournament on a high. I mean, they've had a great tournament for the first time as well. Great tournament. Backing up the T-Rex, we got the big bad Brontikins. Just fell a bit short against Master Shin's Brontikins in the semis. But I'm sure it'll make an impact in this match. Given that Dino Hunt has already felt the wrath of a Brontekins in this tournament, and it didn't end well for him. Right, speak of the devil, in the blue corner for Dino Hunt, there we got Spinosaurus. It does have type advantage over the T Rex, so it is a good matchup for Dino Hunter, but as I said, that Brontekins is a big factor. Backing up the Spinosaurus, we got Allosaurus Atlas. Has also enjoyed a fine tournament. As has Dino Hunter. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, this, I, I don't know, this is going to be a tough one to call. Let's see what happens, especially with no terrain advantages either. Lots of tie. Man doesn't want to go for that scissors. Does want to go paper though. But he doesn't get the crep. Oh, that's a crep. That's going to be damaging. Okay, so Dino and the swaps in the red. Man below half. So it's time to swap out the T Rex. Oh, that's a big crit from Dino and Okay, that's a tie. Another tie. This is a good start from Dino Hunter. Another tie, and down goes the T-Rex. Right, it's all on Brontekins now, but let's be honest, we probably had the suspicion that it would be. Oh, another tie. What ties will fill up the bar? A another tie. Hey, finally someone got a hit. That is Marn. Wow, two hits in this match. Both guys have practically lost their first dinosaurs. Well, Marn has. Dino Hunters hasn't. But they're going to now. And look at that bar filled up. Well, it's a bit underwhelming with all the ties. You don't like to see too many ties. Ooh, Dino Hunter does get the next hit, though. It's a Nado toss. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, this is just the appetizer for the main event. <laughs> I think two hits or two ties, and I think we'll see some spectral armor. Ooh, that's a tie. Don't want to go scissors, though. Opens the door for Dino Hunter to hit with a crit. But a crit is not what he's going to get. And instead, we are going to see some spectral armor. So I need to enter the code. Ooh. Can Marm, fi <coughs> Can Marm finish their tournament with some spectral destroyer? They might. It's in their hands now. Oh, Dino Hunter snatched it. Not today for Marm. And it's Dino Hunter getting the win to finish third. And finally, Dino Hunter defeats an armor dinosaur. Because he, he struggled in this tournament against armor dinosaurs. Brontekins in the group stage, and, well, let's not forget how he got demolished by Ur. But yeah, Dino Hunter claiming a moral victory over the Brontekins, and over Mant to finish third. And Mant will finish fourth in this tournament, but still a respectable finish. Now then, 
the real fun begins. On to the final match of the tournament, and it, after well, over a hundred matches, it all comes down to this. We'll get the customary build-up suspense for the final, and then we'll crack on with it. That's a good field for Dragon Destroyer. Not if you're Mastrician. Right, in the red corner for Mastrician, we have Bronthekins. Mastricians basically stomp their way to the final, and Bronthekins has done most of the work. Backing up the Bronthekins, we have got an Eoraptor. What will it transform into? Ooh, that's a good one for that's a good one for Master Shen. That's really good. That means we'll see some shock waves. Nullifying moves from Dragon Destroyer, preventing him from getting hits, which could be crucial. But Dragon Destroyer will get the first hit in this match because of the terrain disadvantage that Brontekins has. Right in the blue corner for Dragon Destroyer, we've got Alfrak and Campasaurus. Well, Dragon Destroyer has basically conquered every challenge this tournament has thrown at them. But, can they conquer the ultimate one? Backing up the acro, we got Super Truck. Wow, like, I fancied Mastrician to win, but now I'm not so sure. Especially on this field. I actually think Dragon Destroyer might actually win this match. And make it 10 out of 10. Well, one thing's for certain, Dragon Destroyer will get the first hit. And there it is. Not much damage though, because again, type advantage will spare Bronthekins too. Oh my god. <laughs> Not really a scratch, let's be honest. Ooh, that's a tie. Let's hope we don't have too many of those. But ties will suit Master Shino, he'll fill the bar up. Oh, that's a crit! Not the start Dragon Destroyer would want. A tuku tuku dive to come, and you know what's going to come after this? A shockwave. So Dragon Destroyer will probably not get the swap either. But remember, if consecutive shockwaves do occur, the shockwave rule will not apply. This is the first one, so yeah. Brontekins will be going for rock. Oh, uh, you can't go paper. You can't go paper. You can't go paper. Seriously? Persistent, aren't we, Dragon Destroyer? Oh, <laughs> try going paper again, but it's not going to work. This is a strong start from Maastrician. Things looking bleak for Dragon Destroyer early on. No fire... No death fire to bail him out either. The shockwave guarantees Alpha Acro's demise. Oh, this is bad. And no, that wasn't consecutive shockwave, so... Unfortunately for Dragon Destroyer, the Acro is going down. But at least he finishes with a tie. And oh my god, the bar's filling up. Well, Dragon Destroyer needs to pull himself together, and quick, because Maastrician's dominated this match so far. Oh, the Spectral Armor! Okay, yeah, Maastrician's winning this tournament. Well, yeah, it's, uh, I don't even think the type advantage will save the Triceratops. Awaken mode will, but type advantage won't. Ooh, a crit though! Dragon Destroyer not beaten yet! And he gets the Awaken mode, so he'll guarantee survival. Ooh, could this match be turning? Oh, he gets the Spectral Destroyer, but it's not gonna be lethal! The Awaken Triceratops will survive. But. And it's a big butt. 
the Eoraptor comes in. Now, Dragon Destroyer can get a crit on that Eoraptor. That changes everything, because Bromptikins comes back in with Terrain Disadvantage, and the Triceratops will get a crit. Oh, no, that's a tie! Oh, he doesn't have Ocean Panic. That's actually all right. Ooh. Has this changed everything? Okay, no. <laughs> One hit though, a Dragon Destroyer. Well, it all comes down to this. Even though Master Shin has two dinosaurs, all D Dragon Destroyer needs is a hit and he wins. Oh, he doesn't get the hit! Dragon Destroyer falls at the last hurdle! And it's Mastrician, the champion! Winning with the sweaty team! And winning my tournament! Uh, not the closest, not the closest finale in the world. I mean, Dragon Destroyer came back into it, but Mastrician, that start. That start won him the tournament. It was the start that Master Shia made. Dragon Destroyer was too slow. And they finally, finally get defeated in my tournament. And they get defeated at the very last hurdle as well. Oh, that's got to be agonizing. And Master Shia, wow. Absolutely phenomenal. But that is it. Master Shia, the champion for 2023. Right, let's give him his five minutes of fame and we'll end the session. Right, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Mastrishin, the champion. Defeating Dino fans, defeating Broxy, Iron Dan, Man, and Dragon Destroyer. And they defeated everyone in Group E apart from me. <laughs> so let's be honest, I'm the true champion here because I beat Mastrishin in, the fir in their first match and I beat them easily. So technically, I should be the champ. So yeah, let's let's uh, change that. <laughs> Here we go, our true champion of this tournament, me. Okay, no, no, no. Gotta grow up. Gotta grow up. Gotta accept the outcome. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. Like, what a tournament this has been. It's been absolutely insane. So many newcomers doing well. Like, are we witnessing the beginning of an establishment established elite? The tournament in 2024 will tell you that. <laughs> which won't be a tag team tournament, it'll be a 3v3. Right, that's it. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you, thank you all for the beautiful support and the love and the comments I've received. And, yeah, till 2024. Ta-ta.